As our hotel in Langothlin was being used for refugees, we were transferred to the Queen Hotel in Chester. It had quite an impressive frontage and was sighted by the railway station. Our first stop on the way was in Shrewsbury, where we had a walk along the River Severn, which loops round the town. Here's the latest form of water transport, paddle boarding. We crossed the river via this chain-linked bridge and continued along the river bank in the shade until we reached a point where we could loop back through the town. As you can see, there are several half-timbered houses. I couldn't find a plaque for this archway, so have no idea what it represents. We arrived at the hotel in time to settle in our rooms and this was the menu for the first evening. Monday we went on a horse-drawn barge from the wharf at Langothlin to Horseshoe Falls where the canal is fed by the River Dee. Even though the barge was horse-drawn, it still had to be steered with the tiller at the rear. The horse was given a rest at the terminus while we walked along the canal until we reached Horseshoe Falls, which turned out to be a weir. As it was so hot, many were taking advantage of the water to cool off. The artists were in the shade and seemed to be painting the view from memory. The horse was being cooled down by having water from the canal splashed over him. The tiller has to be brought from one end to what will now be the back of the barge. We are now ready to make the return journey. It is a bit of an effort for the horse to start but once we get going, it gets easier. When we reached this bridge, 
we see that there is no tow path so the horse and leader have to disconnect the tow rope and walk over while we glide along. The horse is now over the bridge and will be connected up to the barge again. This is where the Ice Stedford was held the previous week. We are now back at the horse's stables and I'm sure his pace picked up as we neared home. This is the River Dee in Langochlan. Back to the hotel for evening meal after spending some time in Langochlan, but it was too hot to do much exploring. Next to the hotel was the site of the old mews where the customers could keep their carriages and horses, but now used for cars. I was very impressed with the flowers and plants which were somehow growing up the walls of the carriage shed. Would you like a ride on an electric scooter? Look at these old cases which decorate the front of the reception desk. 
Don't worry, the hotel cat is fed by the staff. Look at the statues in the courtyard. Tuesday, we went on a train ride from Langothland Station to Carog up the line. This time we were pulled by a diesel train. The platform has also been decorated with old cases and trunks, as is the hotel. Luckily we had a front seat, so had a good view of the line. As we were pulling into the station, the driver had to exchange the key which had allowed him to use the track. We were in Carog long enough to have a cup of coffee or an ice cream and then we were driven back to Langothlin from the other end of the train so didn't have such a good view. Needless to say we didn't have first class seats but this is an example of them. We caught a glimpse of the chain bridge as we came back. In the afternoon we visited Landudno via the Horseshoe Pass. The temperature had dropped quite a bit on the coast so we felt like exploring the front, watching the speedboat going out round the bay and walking along the pier. Is this the new Punch and Judy round? back to the hotel for the evening meal. Thursday we went to Chirk Castle which was built in the 13th century and is built on Offa's Dyke. The kitchen garden has got a little overgrown due to no work being done to it during the Covid restrictions, but one could see how impressive it would have been in its heyday.
There are several trees growing against the wall. Medlars, plums and figs. These apple trees need pruning. Here is a cardoon again. This area looks a bit more hopeful. Here are the broad beans. Here are the peas. These are the gooseberries. These apples really need thinning out. Strawberries here and amongst the weeds. The state rooms of the castle were open from midday. These Art Deco dancers were on the window sills of the music room. We finished off the day with a visit to Chester, returning to the hotel for our last meal. Before leaving on the last day, we had time to walk a little way along the canal in Chester where we could compare the old warehousing with some new flats. The shop tower is one of the few left in the country. Our lunch time stop was in Ludlow, another old market town built on a small hill and lies on the eastern bank of the River Turn. This was a very narrow bridge and was controlled by traffic lights.
and so ended another holiday. <laughs>